parallel groups trying to take their company public. It's price to sell. Dennis Berman. What's up with the uptalk? What do you mean the uptalk? This is like, uh, well, I think that's you know I got to make this exciting for people. Okay, good. They, I, mean, I don't know how many people out there are excited that David Rubenstein's trying to get even <laughs> richer by selling his shares in the Carla Group. Well, that's you the know, beauty so, of it. You if know, you think about uh, Fahrenheit 9/11, the Michael Moore movie, right? Carlisle is this really sort of dark, shadowy character yeah. in that movie. Uh, you know, they've employed all these former presidents. They've uh, Casper Weinberg, in, yeah. or no, Frank Carlucci. Yeah. They're involved in all these defense businesses, but slowly, somehow, they've been able to change how they do business and change how they're perceived, and they're going public. Uh, I think probably today, if why, they actually get it off. Why do people buy shares in these kinds of private equity companies? You know, the Blackstone IPO did not do well. The KKR IPO no, we have, did we not have do well. Here. They were, the they Apollo all IPO did not do well. They all did. They all did terribly. Well, you would think, perhaps, you know, at the bottom. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're Fortress all down. Bad Fortress. There, yeah. I mean, they, these things. It's you know, it's the old. If these guys are the smartest guys on Wall Street and they're selling, why, why? in the world are you buying? Well, maybe you want to buy it when it hits, you know, somewhere. But you, you know, somewhere 50, 40 percent below well, uh, the you, offer price. But you price. can't. You know, it's impossible to figure these what's, things. What's out. very difficult, of course, is that these businesses they they kind of a lot of their buyout money comes in in chunks, right? It's not a, a such a predictable um, revenue business. Yeah. And that just puts them at a discount, you know. There and there's any, an illiquidity there, in all their assets too. Is there a private too. equity business left, Dennis Berman? You were a, 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 you know, you know, you were reporting on private equity yeah. guys back in 04, 05, 06 when there was like a huge business. Yes. That business is gone, isn't it? It's not totally gone, but it's not it's not there at scale. You know, KKR was able to move, you know, five, six, seven billion dollars of equity in a given deal. Say uh, TXU, the biggest deal in history, which is probably going to be the biggest flame out in history but when it comes to carlisle you sort of like what why why because you david rubenstein wants some money in his yeah, pocket exactly. that's why isn't that why no you're exactly right so caveat emptor eh? no so this is not about giving investors a good opportunity this is about people needing an opportunity to liquefy their very illiquid stakes right. and you are as a individual stockholder you are an answer to david rubenstein's personal wealth problem not a capital need for the business. Fine. Will it get done tonight? It'll get done at yeah. a price because it's, its only value is that there is a public float. And so, if I'm a buyer, I'm—I'm I'm telling the dealer, yeah, I'll pay, but I'll pay right. much lower. Dennis Berman.